start. Okay, hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about uh, basic application layer on Packet Tracer. We're going to divide uh, this our website, then this our email. I'm Chan from Cisco Academy, MMU. Let's see how. Okay. So we're going to divide the video into two parts. First, we're going to talk about DHCP, FTP, uh, HTTP, basic DNS. Okay, we're going to also going to include the telnet as well. Okay. Then the second part, we're going to talk about email and uh, multi-level DNS, which is a bit more complicated. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Let's have a file. Okay, so this one is already pre-configured. You can see the IP address here. The uh, is two hundred dot one. Let's zoom. Okay, this is the IP address for this network, and this is the IP address for the other network. Okay, uh, we make this network as simple as possible so that you don't have to do the routing. Okay. So the DNS server is here. Okay, the DNS server is here. So we're going to click the DNS on the this server. Of course, this server you need to server. Normally, you get the IP address static. The IP address for server normally is static. So we already pre-configure the IP address or for the server for this server and also this the email server. We already pre-configure the IP address. And you can also see the IP address here. Okay. Uh, so this is the DNS server. Okay. So if you look at this PC, we're going to set the PC IP address uh, to DHCP. So we didn't turn on the DHCP yet. So you can see there's no IP address yet. DHCP failed. All right. Uh, then over here, the same thing. Uh, you can see there's no IP address yet. Okay. So the DHCP server, it can be located, must be located in the same subnet because DHCP is broadcast, okay? If you put it on another network, you must do extra configuration on the router, okay? Uh, which is not taught in the class, okay? You can also do DHCP server on your router itself, okay? You can get the command, okay? Uh, but this is not tested, lah, okay? So if you put a DHCP server, it must be in the same network. You put it on a different network, uh, you need to enable some feature on the router to forward the DHCP packet to the respective network, okay? So in this DHCP server, you go and check DHCP here, okay? So uh, there's a deport pool here called a server pool, okay? You need to configure from here. Uh, normally, uh, Normally, before you configure, all right, it's all empty. It's all empty. Okay, you see. Before that, it's all empty. Uh, okay. Uh, save. Okay. Uh, all right. When you click on the what, it's all empty. So service on. Okay. Then you give the default gateway. What's the default gateway? Uh, you must give every all the information. Okay, all right, then you have to give the starting IP address range and the subnet mask, okay? All right, and the maximum number of user you can also give like maybe 200, 150, okay? Then you save. Okay, once you have saved already, the ACP server is on. You click on here, uh, you can see this is the IP address, okay? The client able to get the DHCP server already. Okay, clear? Clear? Uh, okay, there's also, uh, you can also set uh, DHCP version 6. Okay, you can keep the pool name. Uh, create a pool. Lah. Okay, what's the pool name? DHCP version 6. Lah. Okay, the domain name DNS server, uh, you need to give. Uh, Okay, uh, two, then uh, one hundred two twenty two. Okay, domain name will be 
senang the comma. Okay, the IP prefix will be uh, 64. Okay, uh, one one one. Okay, we we are not going to do the IPv6 part because it's a bit complicated. Okay, we're going to skip this part first. Okay, we just do with IPv4 because we don't test you on IPv6. Okay. Alright, the next thing is uh, once you get the IP address, you can uh, ping already. Okay, you can see, you can ping already. Okay. So the next thing is uh, FTP. Okay, FTP, so on this server, IP, uh, you go to services, uh, FTP, okay, FTP. Then you can, there's a existing, there's a username already. So, uh, okay, we move. Okay, you can add a user called user1, password user1. Uh, then you can put whatever option you have, you add it. Okay, then you turn on the FTP. So, it's on. Then over here, you go to command prompt. You can FTP, you type FTP Okay, user1 User1 Okay, LS DIR Okay, then you can say get PT100 I MZ122.28.B uh, Okay, uh, file transfer in progress <coughs> Why so long? Eh? Okay, you can get the file. Normally, it should be quite fast. Okay, uh, I think I need this. Oh, the file is very big. Eh? Okay, so this is FTP. Lah. Okay. Alright, we just cancel it, okay? If not, by right, you can see the file is here, okay? You can see the file is here. Uh, let's see whether we have a small file here or not. All files are very big, too bad, okay? Alright, so this is FTP. Okay, user1, user1, okay? DIR, okay. You can also question mark, and you can see uh, there's a uh, various uh, command. You can also put simple dot txt. I think. Uh, where is it? LCD. Uh, okay. Quit. DIR. Sample file. Okay. Sample file dot txt. So we're going to put a uh, user one, user one, uh, S key, S key, uh, binary la. Okay, it's not available. Okay, no mind. Put what's the file name? Ah? Sample file. Ah? Sample file dot txt. Okay, transfer complete. DIR, you can see the sample file is uploaded to this server, okay? Uh, to this server, to this FTP server. Uh, then you can put a uh, quit, okay? So this is FTP, okay? Then the next thing over here, you can enable Telnet. Is there Telnet? No more Telnet. Uh. Last time they used to be have Telnet. NTP, Syslog. Oh, no Telnet already. There's no Telnet. Last time there is Telnet server. Okay. Ah, uh, let me see. Triple A. Syslog. Okay, there's no Telnet services. Before that, there is. In the old version of Packet Tracer, there is Telnet. Let me see whether there's any command for Telnet. Telnet. Uh, 
you can still tell net okay so what is tell net okay uh, let me enable tell net on the router lah. okay so to enable tell net enable config term line vty04 login password cisco enable password cisco enable secret class okay and right okay then over here you can tell net 200.1.1254 cisco enable class okay you can see this is the router right this is the router configuration so telnet is actually same like remote keyboard okay all right so the next thing you can do is uh over here you enable the http go to the http enable i uh, can edit this file uh, can put a uh, whole wide web Wednesday <coughs> group uh, okay save okay then you go to your PC go to the web browser you key in the IP address go so you can see here all right uh, so this is the web server okay all right uh, then the next thing is dns so in dns uh, you can also put dd dns the name let's say world wide web and you can put in the ip address for the world wide web add. then you want to put ftp uh, you can add uh, okay add okay so over here then on your PC, when you do the command prompt, or you still use the router, okay. ping World Wide Web, okay, you can see it got translated into the IP address, okay. All right, that is for DNS, okay. For the most simple approach is that you only have one DNS server, and everything is there so this is simple isn't it? okay but in real life you have an email server and you have multiple dns email server and multiple dns for multiple company all right so each company will have their own DNS server and email server uh, so uh, this configuration is a bit more complex alright so we're going to cover on another video okay alright so yeah we stop here for a while